Hey there, and welcome back to another Science of Sailing lesson. This video is for level 1 sailors practicing Marlin Spike seamanship skills. Today we'll be learning how to rig, flake, and derig a sonar so we can finally set sail. When we rig a boat, all we're doing is setting it up so that we can go sailing. A lot of the boat parts I'm about to talk about are in the Science of Sailing Level 1 video for terminology and theory, so you might want to check that out beforehand to get to know the boat parts. First we'll start by rigging the jib, which we keep in the cabin on the port side. Bring out the bag and take it to the bow of the boat. Take the jib out and put the jib bag in one of the lockers once you've taken out the sail. There should be a kringle in the side that you're holding. Take this kringle and clip it to the bottom of the forestay. Then clip the hanks that run up the jib onto the forestay. Remember the jib halyard we talked about in the last lesson? Uncleat it above the cabin, then unclip it from the mast. Attach this to the top of the jib. The last thing we have to do with the jib is take the jib sheets and run them through the jib cars on the fair leads and then through the blocks. Once you've done this for both jib sheets, tie a figure eight knot in the ends of both. Alright, now let's move on to the main sail. The first thing you should do is take off the sail cover and stow it in one of the lockers. Then lower the boom by uncleating the main halyard. Untie the slip knots in the sail ties so that you can unroll the mainsail. Slip knots are really easy to untie. Just pull the end of the line and the knot slips out. Don't overcomplicate it like John here. Okay, phew, he finally untied it. Now we can move on to unrolling and raising the mainsail. Take the other end of the main halyard off the end of the boom and attach it to the head of the mainsail. Make sure you're in the wind before you start raising or else your boat will start to sail away. One person will feed while the other one raises. Feeding is what John is doing holding the sail in the mast so that it doesn't get stuck while Dashiell raises by pulling the main halyard above the cabin. Sometimes you might need a little help. If you think raising is too hard, you can ask a friend. Or another friend. One mistake a lot of people make is forgetting to uncleat the main sheets. They hold the boom down, so uncleat them and ask someone else to hold up the boom to make raising easier. If the wind isn't too strong, you can raise your jib while tied to the dock. Pull it all the way up so you can catch as much wind as possible. Next we're going to learn how to flake our sails. When we flake sails, all we're doing is folding our sails temporarily because we're going to use the boats again soon. This way we don't have to fully derig the boat. To flake, first uncleat the jib halyard above the cabin's entrance. Go up to the bow and pull down the jib while somewhat folding it. Unclip the jib halyard and wrap it under the jib so that you can clip the halyard onto itself. This will secure the jib so that it doesn't blow around. Next, uncleat the main halyard and pull the mainsail all the way down. Unclip the main halyard from the head of the mainsail and take it to the stern. Never let go of any halyards because they might shoot up to the sky and then you have to climb up to get them down. 
just kidding, but it is really hard to get them down. Wrap the main halyard under the end of the boom so you can clip the halyard onto itself and pull it up. This will hold up the boom while you flake. Take some of the sail and drape it over the boom so that equal amounts of sail are on either side of the boom. Notice that John and Dashiell are putting their arm on the sail to measure out how much is needed to drape over both sides. Use the sail ties to tie slip knots to hold your flake together. The finished flake should look like this. Now at the end of the day when it's time to go home, we de-rig the boat, which is putting it away for the next time we sail. Once again, you'll have to take the main sail down like we did for flaking. This time, we're going to roll the sail. As you roll it, you should also decrinkle to get the wrinkles out of the sail. Tie the slip knots again with the sail ties. Also take down the jib like last time, but now, after you unclip the jib halyard from the head of the jib, clip it onto the mast and pull it tight from above the cabin. Unclip all of the hanks from the forestay and unclip it at the bottom. Untie the figure eight knots from the jib sheets and then pull the sheets out from the block and fair leads. Take the jib to the cockpit and lay it over the boom for rolling. Do the same thing all over again to roll the jib as you did with the mainsail. Okay, this is taking too long. Much better. Put the jib inside the jib bag. Normally, we put the sheets in first, but these are times of COVID-19 if you somehow couldn't tell already, so we're leaving the sheets out to be disinfected. Put the sail cover on the mainsail and tie square knots on the end of the boom and the end near the mast. Fasten the clips together on the bottom. Now the sail is completely put away and the jib can go on the port side of the cabin. The last thing you should do is coil all the lines on the boat, including the main sheets, jib halyard, and main halyard. Now your boat looks drop dead gorgeous. Now you can successfully rig, flake, and derig a sonar. We'll see you on the water.